Chapter 1 Matter in our Surroundings Part 1 As we look at our surroundings, we see a large variety of things with different shapes, sizes and textures. The air we breathe, the food we eat, clouds, stars, plants, planets and even animals are all made up of matter. Anything that has mass and volume is matter. Since early times, human beings have been trying to understand their surroundings. Modern day scientists have evolved two types of classification of matter based on their physical properties and chemical nature. Today we shall learn about matter based on its physical properties. Let's learn about the physical nature of matter. Matter is made up of particles, therefore it is particulate. We can see this in a simple experiment as well. First, take a beaker of water and dissolve some sugar in it. After some time, you will not be able to see the sugar. The sugar that was there in the spoon will now spread throughout the water. This is because the sugar particles get into the spaces between the particles of water. Now let's move on to the characteristics of the particles of matter. Firstly, the particles of matter are very small. They are small beyond our imagination. We can see this in this simple experiment. Follow the diagram and try this experiment yourself at home. Secondly, particles of matter have space between them. When we made the solution of salt and water, the particles of salt get into the spaces between the particles of water. This shows that there is enough space between particles of matter. This space is called intermolecular space. The third characteristic is that particles of matter are continuously moving. That is, they possess kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy possessed by a body due to its motion. As the temperature rises, the particles move faster and kinetic energy also increases. Try breaking a metal key by hammering, cutting or stretching. Were you able to break it? Now try cutting through water. Were you able to cut through it? We were able to cut through water but not the metal key because in the, uh, in the metal key, the force acting between its particles is more than that in water. This force is called intermolecular force. This shows that particles of matter attract each other. Want to know more about this chapter? Share, subscribe and like the video. Part 2 of this video will be coming soon.